Benji. Shout out my YouTube channel, Talent Tough. Yeah, um, shout out to Talent Tough. Thank Good you. Follow. Right then, guys, welcome back to a brand new video on my channel then. Match review for yesterday's game against Swansea at home. Uh, what a performance from the get-go. What a performance. Um, obviously, we went 1-0 up in the fourth minute by Kazim Richards. Um, and we needed that early goal. Um, you know, get that confidence up. Coming up against the Swansea side that were third in the league and beat the rivals Cardiff at the weekend, you know, you think they'd be massively up for it. We went 1-0 up in the fourth minute, so that was really what we needed. Um, and in the first half, we were so attackive. We, you know, we could have been 4-5-0 up um, come half time. Obviously, Jason Knight had a massive chance from outside the box, hit the post. Um, what a chance that was by by him. And then Jovak put us 2-0 up um, and what a strike it was for, for him. Um, his first goal um, as a Derby player, congratulations to him. You know, hopefully that'll get his confidence up. Good goal. Um, and his first one for us. But like I say, by half time, we could have been four or five nil up. Um, which is dead good to see, you know, so attackive, which we've, we haven't been doing. Um, and I don't think I've seen us play that well since probably the Lampard, um, time because I don't think we've played that well in a long time. So attacking, Swansea just didn't know how to deal with it. Um, and to go 2-0 up, you know, we haven't done that this season. I don't think we've not gone that far ahead. So, you know, what a half it was. We we just looked like a completely different team. Um, and Swansea didn't know how to deal with it, I don't think. Um, but, yeah, what what a massive result that was um, yesterday. Second half, obviously, at half-time, Swansea made a few changes. You know, Steve Cooper wasn't happy with, with being 2-0 down. Third in the league and losing to a side that's fighting relegation, you know, he, he wasn't impressed. So he made quite a few changes at half time and he had only probably one sub left by about the 60th minute. Um, so, you know, he wanted to change the second half, but we defended well. Um, you know, we Swansea really did bring the pressure on to us, made the changes, brought the likes of Casey Palmer on. So we knew that they was going to go really attackive and we just managed to deal with them. Um, correctly, what a what a game again by Christian Bielik. You know, he's just just cracking since coming back from this injury. Nathan Byrne, I thought he had a really good performance as well. Um, obviously Jovak, good performance. I thought the old team put a really good good show on a good performance. Um, and they haven't done that this season, but that was just different gravy last night. Um, and we managed to get a two 0 win in the end. Massive result going forward, hopefully getting out of that relegation zone. Um, and yeah, fair play to Rooney and the coaching team. And, you know, the, we're still unbeaten under Rooney, um, six games. So, you know, that's really good. Um, and we've got to take that forward into Rotherham on Saturday. But yeah, massive result for us last night. Um, after the game, Rooney did confirm that Curtis Davis will now be out for a lengthy time um, with an injury, which is probably not the news we wanted, you know. He's he's a leader out on the field. He's cracking cracking defender. Um, so it is a real shame, especially with the position that we're in. We could have probably done with him um, for the rest of the season. Um, but it is what it is. We've got to learn to cope with that and make something happen in January, get replacements in, hopefully. Um so, yeah, Rooney confirmed that basically he'll be out for the rest of the season now with injury. Um, another thing I wanted to quickly speak about is the other day, Derby released a statement to say that, you know, the takeover is still on the cards despite all the the talks and speculation because we're not hearing anything. Um, it is on the cards and hopefully will be complete soon. Um, that's massive going into the January transfer window, which is is what we need. Um we could, as long as they're willing to invest, um, it could be massive, you know, in terms of needing a striker, new centre-back, um, and getting a permanent manager, whether that be Wayne Rooney, whether that be someone else, it's up to them. But, you know, good result last night. Comment your thoughts below, guys. Leave a like and subscribe. And, yeah, what a win up the Rams.